We're here to talk and share experience for the Hispanic community. What we're living, what we do every day, how we inspire other women, other Latinas. So we're here with three great women as, as we coming back from the break. Rosalba, tell me a little about how you inspire other women. What you will tell the other people to become a great entrepreneur like you? Yeah, um, thank you. That's a great question because I was um, just like many women out there having a job, a paycheck that came every week. Mm -hmm. So I felt secure. I felt, you know, um, I'm making an okay living to sustain my family. But then it became more than that. It became more than just a paycheck. At some point I wanted um, to have more satisfaction in the work that I was producing. Um, as a designer, I wanted to be more, have more freedom with my creativity. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted more time with my family. Mm -hmm. And I thought having my own business would provide some of those things, give mm -hmm. me more flexibility and allow me to have the freedom with my um, design ideas. Uh -huh. And also always looking ahead at a you know, better future for my, what, what am I gonna leave behind to my mm -hmm. kids and my yeah. family? Um, so I will say to women that are in that same situation where they're maybe already have a paycheck or maybe they're unemployed, mm -hmm. um, it's never the right time. You sort of have to make the time be right mm -hmm. for you. You have to decide, have that desire to be on your own. First mm -hmm. of all, you have to have that willingness to be yeah. on your own, to take the risk. And then once you have that desire, create a plan, start, you know, studying what industry you want to pursue. So mm -hmm. if you are good at with people, mm -hmm. um, you know, decide what kind of industry you can tap into that where you're going to be dealing with mm -hmm. people. If you're good, if you're a creative person, what can you do with that creativity? If you're, whatever your skill set is, dedicate some time figuring out how to do that well and mm -hmm. where are the weaknesses in the mm -hmm. industry? Who can you talk to that can mm -hmm. uh, mentor you, advise you? On you know even putting budgets together, you may not know how to yeah. how to budget your own you know work. Yeah, the own house, my lord. <laughs> so I will say you know just create create a plan and mm -hmm. follow through. Talk to people that already have been doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, maybe talk to people that could be potentially your um, your clients. Mm -hmm. Find out what the needs are for mm -hmm. them. What what's lacking right now in the industry that you can maybe do better than your competitors. Mm -hmm. And so prepare yourself before you quit your job. Before you tell you know your family. I'm on my own, just be mentally prepared what you're taking on and, and that will be kind of my, yeah, my advice right. for anyone that has that desire to, mm -hmm. yeah. to be on their own. Yeah. Rebecca, what you will tell people? Well, you know, to piggyback a little bit off yes. of what Rosalba yes. said, because yes. she said a lot of good points, you know, you do have to kind of find yourself, prepare mm -hmm. a budget and all that. And what I would add to that is also go to your local chambers. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of local chambers that have great mm -hmm. resources for mm -hmm. Latinos. They have partnership with SBA, with SCORE, which gives you the mentorship mm -hmm. program that she's referring mm -hmm. to. And I use uh, that too, so thank yeah. you for reminding yeah. us about that. Yeah, Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there is, there's a lot of services out there. And within that network of services, you're going to find other people that are alike. And you guys could use each other to empower each other, to encourage each mm -hmm. other, and things of that nature. Because I know I've learned a lot going to a lot of the mm -hmm. events that I go yeah. to. And I hear a lot of interesting story, And it gives me hope. It gives me, you know, like, oh. You know, I, I like this. I, I could utilize this. You know, or that's an aspect in my life that I needed to change. And that lady just had a great idea. So empowering yourself with your local mm -hmm. chambers, you know, I think is a good start. Great idea. Another Maria. If I help. Hmm? I encourage the people. I think Complimenting while we're talking, yeah. Well, yes. My, <laughs> my friends here say everything. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, you have to study. A study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to learn. If you can do something, you have to do it well. Mm -hmm. You have to learn help, to learn and find help. Mm -hmm. the, um, it's, it's because I am an educator. Of <laughs> yeah. so you need study. To learn. Yeah. <laughs> you need to study, you need to find information, read, uh, try to do mm -hmm. everything correctly because mm -hmm. that's the most important with ethic mm -hmm. and with honesty is the most important in this in any business that you start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's a good point, and I'm sorry, because they have to be licensed in certain things, have mm -hmm. degrees in certain yeah. other things. Mm -hmm. In her case, they have to be licensed as well, so studying well, is a lot. very mm -hmm. important. I studied, yeah. You have to get yeah. the certifications to, before exactly. you do anything. And sometimes right. even, you know, um, there's a lot of, in, in our area, there's a lot of uh, cleaning companies, for instance. And you may yeah. think, I'm going to start a cleaning company. I don't need to know too much. I just need to clean. I'm a good, you know, I can yeah, keep yeah, a house yeah. clean. 
But in reality, you have to learn about chemicals. How, those, yes. how do chemicals exactly. react yeah. with fabrics, right. with yeah. carpet? Yeah. So there's yeah. always a learning about any, mm -hmm. any field that you choose to do. Uh, even if you think that it doesn't require a lot of learning, there's a lot exactly. involved in yeah. any in any industry, Everything you have to so there's a there's mm -hmm. a um, there's a huge mm -hmm. need to but learn. But the next step is the hardest. It's when you learn everything, you have your plan, and now it's a time to sell. Mm -hmm. This one is the hard part. Well, where do you find your customers? No, where do you? So that part, then sometimes nobody tell, yeah. told you that. Yeah. Like, okay, perfect. I have my license, and yeah. then what? Yeah, but you say in the beginning, it's not easy. No, all, all the business is hard in the beginning, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you have to keep doing. Yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. Have to there. Yeah. Try, try all the time. And I have uh, a, a recommendation for that, um, creating that connection, the clientele. Uh -huh. um, what I personally worked for me was connecting with people way before, about six or eight months before I went on my own. I just, okay. mm -hmm. I started having lunch meetings with, in my, in my industry will be architects, engineers, mm -hmm. developers, people mm -hmm. that I knew were mm -hmm. involved in, in the design field. Yeah that had recommendations for me, that had leads for me, that had, they knew someone that may need a designer eventually. Mm -hmm. So I just created a network around, you know, mm -hmm. what Before. I needed. Mm -hmm. So by the time I went ahead, quit my job, I already had built that relationship. Yeah. They already all, you know, I had a lot of people that knew mm -hmm. that I was gonna start my own business. Mm -hmm. So when I quit my job, literally I quit my job, I had no clients. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm quitting my job today because I'm dedicating myself mm -hmm. to my job, to my, mm -hmm. to my own mm -hmm. business. And within a few weeks, I got a call. Did you say you were starting your own business? Did you did you start already? I'm like, actually, yes. I'm in my business right now. I'm in my living, you know, in my living room yeah. with my laptop. Yeah, I'm in my office right now. What do you need? Yeah. Um, but it was because I planted a seed Good along idea. the way, yeah. creating that mm -hmm. connection with people that that support you and that mm -hmm. you know believe in what you're doing. So yeah. you're right. I, well, I think the clue here is that you do a good job. The yeah. people recommend you again. Yeah. If you do something yeah. wrong or bad, you nobody know. called you yeah. again. Yes. That's it. So, <laughs> so what I did when I decided to leave corporate and decided to own my company, Random Words Marketing, what I did is go, I joined Chambers of Commerce. Mm -hmm. you know, I joined the Reston Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. because I said I have never done business here in Reston, so let's begin again. Mm -hmm. no? So I, I did that, and it was wonderful to be part of the Reston Chamber of Commerce. But then after a couple of months, I feel like, I think I could sell better with people that are like me, Latinos, you know. Mm -hmm. Then I joined the Hispanic, um, Greater Washington Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and it's been wonderful, no? I, I've been closing business there. But lately, I decided that I may be do business with any other races, so mm -hmm. I joined the Asian American Chamber of Commerce. And mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I found it that as an immigrant people, for me, it has been more easy to sell other immigrant communities, like mm -hmm. from people from Africa, you know, other mm -hmm. countries, that, you know, it's easier for me because like, I feel like we are exactly alike, we are immigrants, we're looking always for help. So that, mm -hmm. thought that was, but I think the secret for selling is networking, no? Yes. Attend meetings, go to, you know, events in the chamber, mm -hmm. anything that means networking when you meet people, no? That, yeah. that and, I, and I like how you mentioned that you first started with one chamber and you yeah. realized that wasn't exactly working yeah. for your, what you mm -hmm. were looking for. I mean, exactly. it's probably perfect for another, yeah, yeah. another business, another industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you found your way around, so you mm -hmm. found where you belong. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then you, you know, that's where you are because that's where you feel safer. Mm -hmm. That's where you feel you can connect mm -hmm. the most. Yeah. So, so always trying different things until yes. you get to where you need to be. Exactly. Yeah. Where did you find your, your, most of your business? Well, there's no easy. <laughs> it was no easy. I, um, well, farming uh, is, a, is a way to, to, the farming is when you select a, place and you send information about you, oh, okay. try to <laughs> get, uh, and the person, but you have to have a plan every two months, <laughs> you send something. And at the time, um, I don't know when the people say, oh, I need to buy a house. I see a lady who send me oh, all the, the time information yeah, yeah, yeah. and you start in that way. Yeah. It takes a lot of time. That's yes. mailing, when you say yeah. you send something, yeah. you are mailing. Yeah, it's mailing information. Mm -hmm. and when you do, uh, it's, it's my point, if you do a good job, the you. people recommend you with the family, friends, and yeah. everyone. Mm -hmm. I work more for re recommendation. And I work with people who is no, has a lot of money. Mm -hmm. they, I don't sell houses, luxury houses. Uh -huh. I have to make a lot of... Little houses, little, yes. little small houses, yes. sales. Uh -huh. But um, it's people that, it's exactly why the people love the work that I do. 
I do. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I say that <laughs> because I try to help them to get the Worth goal, mm -hmm. the future goal, mm -hmm. which is prepare for the future mm -hmm. and can buy the house. Yeah. That is my. And Rebecca, mm -hmm. when you 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 require um, recruiter. Mm -hmm. Um, these agents, um, did you guide them how to find your, how to find Yes, I did okay. because I'm, I, one of my favorite things to do on earth is connect people. Uh -huh. So if I see a personality that I think will match with another personality uh -huh. and I think they will get along well, yes, yes. and if someone has a need, I will be more than happy to connect them. Um, we do a lot of things in our organizations. We partner up with a lot of Latin organizations mm -hmm. and, and chambers, and we do a lot of events, you know, mm -hmm. booth and mm -hmm. things like that. I think you and I were on a booth yeah, once, we, right? Yeah, we went <laughs> At the D.C. Bunch at the yeah, Congress. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, and that's one of the ways mm -hmm. we help them. But, you know, we also help them at our organization. We sit with the agents, and we mm -hmm. walk them and give them all the support and resources that they need in order to know what to do with those clients when mm -hmm. they do come along so that we can make sure that they're being provided the best so it's different, the, the recruitment that try to find clients is different. Yes. It's more, more network, networking, yes. right? Yes, and no, that's why I have both types. I have to do both. I have to yeah. recruit and I have to do marketing, So, okay. which is an interesting mm -hmm. position because at least if I get a person, yeah. I'm thinking the very same person that I've already established a relationship with and I'm moving them along the process and now I'm getting them connected to the community and that's then they start becoming a staple in the community and they start changing lives. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, then... They start, you know, making a little bit of money, then they go to you and get a house, and they go to her yeah, and get wonderful. her. The Make the house even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she does amazing work. I don't know if you guys have ever yeah. seen her work, but it is exactly. really nice. So we have um, a great conversation. It has been a, a lovely um, a couple minutes, oh, an hour, to talk about everything. And I think that secret for a living to the people is networking, studying, and we decide this, like, you know, I can do better, you know, we always can do better. We yeah. always can reborn and do better things. And I think Latinos, we, we have this little seed inside us that we always we want to passion. do. Passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the seed is called passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I think uh, this cafecito has been wonderful to listen to these wonderful women. And it's Thank just, it's, it's awesome. Thank it's you. been wonderful. You know, sometimes I feel alone. And sometimes maybe I have to sit down and tomar un cafecito, you know. <laughs> Yo necesito tomarme un cafecito con ustedes para compartir esta soledad. Cuando eres un entrepreneur, a veces estás muy solo, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Sí. So, pero muchísimas gracias por venir, Rosalba. Muchísimas gracias. gracias por venir. Ha sido un placer. Gracias, la verdad. Mm -hmm. María, continúa tu bello trabajo educando a la gente. Es increíble. Y, y la verdad te respeto mucho porque gracias. dedicar el tiempo que tú dedicas a las personas para... Para hacerlas entender, es, no, no ha de ser fácil. Muchas gracias. Eso me hace feliz, gracias. Muchísimas gracias por haber venido. Y Rebeca, como siempre, ella es, ella es un caso también especial. Las tres son únicas. Porque ella, gracias a ella, he conseguido contactos que nunca hubiera tenido antes. Ella uh -huh. siempre está pensando en mí cuando conoce a alguien. Laura, yo creo, esta persona te puede ayudar en esto y eso es algo que no voy a poder nunca olvidar. Muchísimas gracias. Continúa uh -huh. siendo el conector. En el, gracias. Thank you very much for, for coming. Es la goma thank que you, Thank you for having us yeah. here. Y bueno, vamos yeah. a continuar este, invitando a otras mujeres latinas para seguir platicando y tomándonos aquí una tacita de café y platicar sobre nuestras experiencias. Thank you very much all of you for coming and we will continue looking for women that want to share ideas, experience, so everybody can learn from us. It has been a very wonderful afternoon here in Cafe Latino. Thank and it will you. continue. I hope this is our first show. So this is my grand, my godmothers, mis madrinas. <laughs> and I, I, it's going to be a, a wonderful future, I hope so, where everybody can come. Um, then you can check our webpage, cafelatino.com, where you can ask questions. And you want to come, please welcome and let us know what we'd like to share. What kind of experience did you want to share? But, me, but my godmothers will be with me along the way. Yeah. I hope so, Cafecito Latino is there for a long time. Yeah. Have a good afternoon.